Hello and welcome to day one of the 21 days of yoga. I'm Alexandra and I'm going to be your host during this program. Wow, I'm getting a little bit emotional here because this is day one. So we really started the program. It's amazing. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me. And I really want you to start um, this practice by really acknowledging yourself for showing up here. So you may um, come into this program with so many reasons, no matter what the reason you really deserve to celebrate yourself for actually showing up, which is actually the biggest part of um, everything that we are trying to achieve and actually. So uh, yoga, this is um, such an important part of my life. Uh, it definitely changed my life. I would say actually transformed my life and that's why I'm here today and I'm sharing uh, this tool which is called yoga with you through this program. Wow, it's gonna be a fun and amazing journey. Please, uh, when you show up on your mat, just leave aside any stories you may have around yourself and this practice like, oh, I haven't practiced in a while, I've never done yoga, I have to do it perfectly. These are just stories and actually we don't need them. I, I'm inviting you here on the mat to have an experience because this is what I believe yoga is. It's an experience of yourself, right? And just allow yourself to be present during this practice um, and just land into your body and feel what's there and just stay open-minded and curious to learn and yeah, to learn new things about yourself. Okay, if you're ready, let's do this. We start into child's pose. So bring your knees as wide as the mat and then bring your big toes together and as much as you can, send your arms towards the front of the mat and then place the forehead down. In case you cannot bring the forehead down, you can keep it above the mat or you can even use a block and place it under the forehead. Okay, now, I want you to really spread your fingers and take a deep breath in and then take a deep breath out Good, let it go and every time you're gonna exhale just let your chest go a little bit more towards the ground and relax the shoulders the muscles of your face and just feel the crown beneath the body and feel the space you are in. This is such a great moment to really settle in, to check in with yourself, with your breath. Let's stay for two more breaths. One more. And then exhale. And from here, move your palms over the left and you bring your right palm on top of your left palm. You may bring the forehead down, you may keep it above the ground and just give yourself here a really, a really big stretch through the right side of your body. We stay only for three breaths. Oh, this is good. You may feel some resistance, but we really want to be present to feel everything that's going to show up. Okay, now let's move over to the right side. And this time you're gonna send your left palm on top of your right palm. Good, place the forehead down or above the ground. And just remember, come here as a way for you to be present. We are not trying to fix actually anything. Hmm. We are here to build awareness. We are here to feel. Okay, good job. Come back towards the center and let's meet into a tabletop position and that means palms under your shoulders, knees under the hips. Now pull your abdominals in and we go for five rounds of cat and cow. So you're going to lower your abdomen, opening up the chest and breathing in. And then exhale, round through the spine, chin into your chest. Ooh, hello spine. Good. And I want you to make four more rounds on your own. The intention is to actually link the movement with the breath. So it's not going to be the other way around. No. 
You got this. Two more. Hmm. And the last one. Exhale, let it go. Really press away from the mat. And then come back towards the center. Now move your palms a little bit further on the mat. Make sure that your index finger is actually pointing at 12 o'clock in front of the mat. And then tuck your toes, press down, send the hips up for a downward facing dog. And let's start by just walking the dog a little bit. And I usually, oh, let's say I'm flexible. So if you feel like doing any other kind of movement here, I mean, inviting you to really express yourself letting your body tell you what it needs. Hmm. And when you feel ready, I want you to settle into your downward facing dog. And that means no movement, just being still, focusing on pressing your palms and your feet into the ground and then lifting your hips up and then send them a little bit back so you can really find this beautiful length through the spine. Hmm. Good. And let's stay for one more breath. So together, breathing in right here. And breathing out right here. Good. Now send the right leg up and just hold it for one breath. Make sure that your toes are pointing down. And from here, you're gonna step in between the palms. And in case your foot gets stuck around uh, somewhere around here, you just grab it with your, you, you just grab your ankle with the right palm and you just move it forward. There is no other way. Okay, so bring your left knee down. Arms are going up. Oh, we are into a low lunge. Now, be, this being actually the first practice we are taking into the program, I'm, I really want you to really come into the, um, practice has a way for you to start inquiring. So, okay, where is my body today? Maybe you haven't practiced in a while. Maybe um, you've practiced, you are on and off your practice. Maybe you really practice, but I really want you to come here the way you are and also tapping into your body to learn how you are. Because sometimes we just uh, know about ourselves, how we are um, at a mental level. How about the body? How the body does it feel, okay? Okay, send your arms up. Whew, I'm talking a lot. Squeeze your inner tights. Yeah. So when you, I say squeeze your inner tights, it's, it feels like a movement of sending the right hip back and the left hip forward. And then feeling this strength, you may maybe sink a little bit lower. Any amount is definitely the right amount. And then exhale, release your palms at the top of your mat. And from here, I want you to move back and forth a couple of times. You may use the block so you can find more length and actually space for you. And just move back and forth. Mm, hello, hamstrings. Yeah, this is it. You got this. Okay. And now send your hips forward, send the blocks away. And then let's meet back into down dog. Whew, take a deep breath in here. Breathe, big breath out right here. Good. Left leg goes up. Stay for the breath. And then exhale, you're gonna step at the top of your mat. Right knee goes down. Arms are going up and just relax the shoulders down. Good, checking in, how is this side of the body? Hmm. Pull your abdominals in and really press the center of the front heel into the ground. And then see if you can find some softness in here. Okay, just be here to feel. Okay, and now release your palms at the top of your mat. Maybe use your blocks. You can use whatever height of the block you want. Maybe you're taller than me, so yeah, of course. And just move your hips back and forth a couple of times. Say hello to the left hamstring as well. Okay, 
try two more times. Good. Send the hips forward and we meet back into downward facing dog. Okay, take a deep breath in and take a deep breath out. From here, you're gonna walk your feet all the way to the front of your mat and we're gonna take a rag doll here, one of my favorite poses. So make sure that your feet are in the same line with your hips. You send the crown of your head down, you may either rest your arms on the ground or you may grab the opposite elbow. Put a little bend through the knees and just let your entire upper body soften towards the ground. And very gently send the weight of the body a little bit more towards your toes. Oh, this is good. One more breath. Exhale. Release your arms down in case they are not already there. Now take a halfway lift in here and bring the shoulder blades towards the spine, getting long through the crown of the head. Fold. Here we go. Press down, lift up into extended mountain pose. Let the tailbone descend here, lifting the front of your pelvis. And then fold. Halfway lift. Okay. Step back with both of your legs into a high plank. Pull your abdominals in and then bring your knees down and all the way down you go. Untuck the toes, you press down, you lift your chest up for Cobra. Hello, exhale. And we meet back into down dog. Good, take a deep breath in and take a deep breath out. Now really press the fingertips and the knuckles into the ground and lift your hips up, but send them a little bit back as well. One more breath. Exhale. Good. Right leg goes up. And now step in between your palms. And from here, keep your left knee up. And what we're gonna do is that we were gonna tap with the knee and then gonna send the knee up just a couple of times, okay? Woo. You just tap and you lift it up. Hmm. Good. Okay, one more time. And from here, send the knee up and then you send your hips back into this variation of a actually pyramid pose. You may grab the blocks with you and just focus on lengthening through the crown of the head, finding the space that you need to actually then send the chest down towards the leg as much as you can. This is definitely not a competition in any way. So when you send your chest towards the ground, you may start feeling the hamstring, okay? And that's good. So as much as you can, that's gonna be the right amount. And then you really tap into this stretch of the hamstring and allow yourself to be there. Good. Exhale. One more breath. Good. Now send your hips forward. You're going to send the blocks at the top of your mat and you're going to find your way. Okay, you're going to step into a warrior three, palms in front of your chest. You may start with the front, with the standing knee bent, so you can find the balance. Press your foot down and then zip your abdominals in. Okay. And when you really feel you nailed it here, I'm talking about the balance, you can straighten your leg. Good. And the left toes are pointing down, so you can actually square your hips. One more breath. Good job. Okay, release your left foot at the top of the mat and then fold. Halfway lift, get long through the crown of the head, fold. Extended mountain pose, root down, rise up. Exhale and fold. Halfway lift, 
Good. Okay, step back with both of your legs into a high plank. And now we go into low plank. Knees down and you go all the way down. Hug the elbows in, press down. You lift your chest up, hips are staying on the ground. Exhale, down or facing dog. Okay, this is fun, am I right? Take a deep breath in. And take a deep breath out. Good. We are taking it to the, to the other side. Left leg goes up. Stay for the breath. And then exhale, step in between your palms. Okay. Find the land through the crown of your head. Maybe use the blocks here. Okay. These are your best friends. Okay, and from here, send your hips a little bit lower and you're gonna start tapping yeah, with the knee just a couple of times here. I know you may feel the burn to your legs and the hip, but we are warming up. Okay, one more time, good job. Hmm. And now send your hips backwards in this variation of a pyramid pose. Use your blocks. And if you don't have the blocks, okay, and you may be on the ground, I want you to really put a little bend through the knee in here, giving yourself more space. Lengthen through the crown. Exhale, chest is going as much as you can towards the leg. And just be there. Feel as a way for you to inquire, as a way for you to actually celebrate where you are in your practice. One more breath. Exhale. Good. Now send your hips forward. You may use your blocks here and find your way into warrior three. And if it gets messy and you fall, you just come back. That's part of the process as well. It happens to me even after all these years. So being messy, it's gonna be important during this program. And I really want you to maybe set like a man mantra. I allow myself to be messy. And just notice what shifts when you really tap into this mindset. Good, one more breath. And then exhale, release your foot at the top of your mat, fold. Whew. Halfway lift, fold. Extended mountain pose and you reach up, exhale, you dive forward. Okay, halfway lift. And let's take one more vinyasa, step back with both of your legs, knees down, you go all the way down, cobra and breathe in, exhale, down dog. Okay, good, take a deep breath in, take a deep breath out. You got this. Now set your eyes on a fixed point in between the heels. And just imagine you are breathing through that point. Last breath. Okay. Let's take a half pigeon on the right side. Send the right leg up. And then bring your foot behind your left palm and the knee behind the right palm. Okay, sit a little bit. Lower in here. Stay a little bit at the center so you can actually align your shoulders and the hips with the front edge. And very important is actually to make sure that your knee is not pointing at 12 o'clock in front of the mat, but it's more, it's pointing more at two o'clock. So it's gonna to be towards the exterior of the mat. Okay, and from here you can go on your forearms. We stay for five breaths. You can also extend your arms above your head and you can go even deeper. Whatever feels right for you at the moment, you go for it. Every practice is gonna be different. So that's why I'm really inviting you to be present in this practice. Hmm, noticing how are you today? Last breath. And now press back into your downward facing dog. Good job. 
and maybe walk your dog a little bit. And when you feel ready, you send the left leg up and we take this half pigeon on the left side. Good. Okay, take a moment in here. Hips, shoulders parallel with the front edge of the mat. And then you go deeper. Yeah. Mm. Five breaths. See if you can soften a little bit more, even though you may be feeling some resistance or tension in the hip. Yeah, you can relax right there in the middle of that tension. Last breath. And from here, you're gonna lean on the left side and you're gonna send the right leg in front of your body and then you're gonna send both legs straight in front of the body and maybe remove the flesh under your sitting bones. Send the arms up and then fold as much as you can. You may bend the knees a little bit here or you know, you may be just like this, and that's amazing. But make sure that you actually fall from the hips and not from the waist. It's gonna, when you fall from the waist, it's gonna look like this. And that means there is not, you don't have enough space to actually go deeper, right? So that's why, first of all, you really lengthen and then you fold. Okay, good job. From here, very gently, you're gonna lay down on your back. And then bring your feet as wide as the mat. Knees are pointing up. Extend your arms into a T. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, send your knees over to the left the way they are. Good, you may stay here, or if you wanna go a little bit deeper, you may Take your left foot and place it over the right knee. And now very gently turn your eyes over to the right arm. And just soften. This is such a good pose. Just notice how does it make you feel. Okay, come back towards the center. Release your left foot at the edge of the mat. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, send your knees over to the right. Maybe bring your foot on top of your knee. Eyes are going over to the left. Just relax a little bit. Good job. Okay, come back towards the center, release the pose, and let's take one of the most important poses and the most welcome, I would say, Shavasana. So extend the legs as wide as your mat, turn the palms facing the ceiling, and maybe adjust your body so you can feel comfortable, adjust the clothes. Make sure that your arms are not very close to your body, okay? Just send them a little bit more away from the body, just like you set an intention of taking up more space. Yeah, just allow yourself to take more space, not just in this practice, but also in life. Yeah, just show up. Hmm. Now just relax your entire body down towards the ground, every muscle. Hmm. This is your moment to actually just be. There is no more doing. What's left is just being. And 
and I'm really encouraging you to stay here for at least five, ten minutes. Would be amazing, actually. I'm going to leave you here. I'm going to say namaste. And thank you so much for being here, for sharing your practice with me. And I cannot wait to actually meet you again on the mat tomorrow for day two. When you finish this practice, make sure that you give yourself that pat on the back. You deserve it.